puzzle of their game of life. You're just a small piece. So you must understand that everything they do is not about you. It's about them. So the best advice I can give you with moving on from these people after you've been discarded and you have a lot of anger and you want revenge because we all want revenge. Your best bet is to focus on you and heal because you're never going to get that revenge that you so desperately seek. You gotta understand that these people live in a different reality. They live in a different world. So they don't think like we do. They live in a place where everything is uh, revolving around them. So if in that world, something doesn't revolve around them, they discard it. Because it's not part of their world. So oftentimes, people will take it very personal and with good reason when they are discarded, when they are abused. But the best thing you should do is to just focus on you because they're focused on them. And whatever revenge you try to exact on them it's not gonna it's not gonna matter to be honest see focusing on you is the perfect revenge because they're gonna be in that cesspool of shit for the rest of their lives and you can go on to live a happier life and uh, have new experiences and experience joy like truthfully like like real joy and make things happen for you. But you gotta focus on yourself. And when you gain the knowledge of these people, of how narcissists and toxic people flow and how they work, don't submerge yourself into this community so hard that it turns into a, a rabbit hole and you become consumed with this because it can be, it can be quite overwhelming. Learn what you have to learn and move forward because what you don't want your life to be based on is the abuse you took. You want your life to be based on all the awesome things that you did and the great memories that you had and and all the things that you have achieved. You know? Narcissists live the way they live because they base their lives on the fact that they think that they got the shit end of the stick and the world owes them something when the world doesn't owe you shit. And if they don't get the things that that they believe they deserve, well, they become resentful, bitter, angry. And you know, it, it's it's like it's like a two-year-old not getting his toy. And he catches a tantrum and everything. And the only real way to get over that tantrum is for the parent to put it on timeout and to let it catch its tantrum until it stops. See. With you, it's as simple as letting them do their thing and moving forward with your life. And that's it. It's the only way you're going to move forward because once you and the narcissist separate, you are no longer property of the narcissist. They might think you are, but you're not. And you never really were to begin with, but you're no longer trapped. So focus on your freedom. Work on being free. Work on being happy. Work on you. Stop wondering what the narcissist is doing. Stop wondering if they're thinking about you because it doesn't matter. It's over. And now your new life has just begun. Talk to you guys soon. Always remember, love and respect yourself.